So hello and welcome. Uh, in this tutorial, I would like to show you how you can uh, update the score in Adobe Animate CC 2021. Uh, we are going to be working in HTML5 Canvas and we are going to be using JavaScript. Uh, so right now I, will, I would like to show you uh, what we will be doing today. So we are going to have a plus sign and if I click, this is going to increase my score. I am going to be have minus, which is going to decrease my score and I'm going to have the plus three, which is going to increase the score by three. And then we have uh, something like this, that when I go uh, over 15, I am going to have that I am a winner. And if I, with the minus, go uh, below 15, I am going to get that I am a loser. So yeah, that's basically what we will be doing in this tutorial. So very simply, I will create a uh, text and make sure that it is a static text and I am going to get some color. I can go with the black one and I am going to just type uh, score. Uh, then I will have to go again to the text tool, but right now I will have to change the static text uh, to dynamic. And the dynamic uh, means that it is going to be, uh, we, are, we will be able to change this with the JavaScript. So I will go to the dynamic text and I will uh, type in here, uh, for example, zero. Uh, the thing about this dynamic text is uh, sometimes it behaves a little bit strange. So uh, it is uh, sometimes in some browsers a little bit offset. So if I hit control enter, it is a little bit offset. So I will just put it uh, down a little bit like so, and it is going to be, it is going to be fine. Uh, if you want, you can search about uh, how to fix this. But right now I would like to focus on how to, uh, how to manipulate this uh, with the JavaScript. Uh, so on the dynamic uh, text, you can see that there is an option uh, instance name and I will call this to be my score. Uh, now I want to create a few buttons. Uh, one button is going to increase the score. Uh, one button is going to decrease the score and one more is going to increase the score by more than one point. So I will um, get a rectangle tool and I can go with maybe a green color and I'm going to create a shape like this. Uh, now I will go to my text tool. I will get the uh, white color and in here I will just uh, with the static text uh, type uh, plus like so and I will position the plus in here so this means this is going to be this is going to be a uh, plus I will go ahead and duplicate this I can change the color for this one maybe uh, to be red and I will change this from plus to minus okay fine and I can go ahead and change the background of my stage so very simply uh, I will change it to maybe something like this. Basically, when I hit control enter, I'm going to see the borders of my canvas. Uh, so right now, I will, I will have to convert both of them to the symbols. So I will highlight the plus and I will go to the modify, convert to symbol, and I can call this to be plus, but this is just named for the library. So this has nothing to do with the JavaScript and this one, Again, I will go to the modify, convert to symbol, and I can call this to be minus. Okay, uh, now what is important is when I click on the, on the plus, there is this instance names, instance name, and I will call, call it to be button, no? like button plus. So this is the name that we will be using in the JavaScript. And this one I will call to be button no? minus. Okay, and we already created the name for uh, this one, which is my score. And for this text, uh, the score, I do not need to uh, make the symbol or the instance name. So I will create new layer and this layer I am going to call code. I will uh, right click on the first frame and I will choose actions. Uh, this is going to open me a uh, text editor like so, and I will make this little bit smaller like this. Uh, so right now what I can do is uh, create a variable. So I will type 
let score and I will type that score is equal to 5. Okay, uh, so far this has nothing to do with our score, we just declare some kind of variable. Now what I want to do is target this text, this zero, this dynamic text. So I will type this. Uh, what was the name that we created? Uh, my score. So this my score text is equal and I can type anything. I can type two, for example. And right now if I hit if I hit, if I hit control enter, uh, this is going to open me this in the browser and score is going to be two. I can go ahead and type in here uh, hello and it is not going to do anything because I would have to I would have to type uh, hello uh, like so. And right now it would be it would be hello. okay but I want to... I want this to be a uh, number like uh, like so. Fine. Uh, I created a variable, let's call it, because I want my uh, text, this my score text, to be equal to the score. So I will copy this and I will paste this in here. And what will I put as my score will be displayed in here, like this. Okay? So if I change this to zero then this is going to be zero uh, now i am going to create even listener for this button so i will type this button plus add event listener and let me create a little bit more space so i can put it in here so this button plus add even listener we want to go with the uh, click even listener, so click, and I will call this to be plus F. So basically we are going to call the function plus F, and I will create the function, so function plus F, parenthesis, curvy parenthesis, and uh, right now we can uh, type our code in here. So in here, uh, and basically, let me let me create one thing, and it's like uh, when you are outside of the function, you are using this, and when you are inside of the function, you cannot use this, but you will have to create a variable. I will call it let root is equal to this. Uh, this name is optional, but when you are inside of the function, you are going to, instead of this, typing root, and when you are outside, you will type this. So you have to do it this way. So I will type uh, root and I can type my score text is equal to 11 for example. This doesn't matter right now. So I will hit control enter and if I click on this plus button this will change this to, to the 11. Okay fine but this is not what we want. We want root my score text to be equal to score, to variable that we created. But the score is zero. So what we can do is in here type score plus plus. And plus plus means uh, plus one. Uh, so right now this means that we will increase the score by one and then we will display the score in here. So I will hit control enter and if I click this is going to be one. And if I click multiple times, it will increase like so. This plus plus, uh, you can even type plus equal one. This is the same as typing plus plus. Or you can type that score is equal to score plus one. And that is going to be the same. But that's a topic for maybe another tutorial. But basically plus plus means that this is going to increase by one. Uh, we can do the same thing uh, for the minus button. So let me for now just uh, copy all of this, control C and uh, paste this in here, control V. And I will change this from this uh, button plus to this button uh, minus. 
So this button minus, add even listener, click, and the function will be minus f. So function minus f. And in here, I would like to make score minus minus. Or you can, again, put score is minus minus equal one or the, the third way that I showed you. But minus minus is fine. Uh, so right now, if I hit control enter, and if I click on the, on the minus, the score is going to go uh, down, like so. Uh, okay, and I can create very simply uh, one more uh, shape. So I will go to the rectangle tool and make sure that you are not on the code layer because uh, you want your code to have only the code. You don't want to have on this layer anything else. Uh, so I will, go, I will go to the layer one and I will create a shape like this. I can change the color to green and I will get my text. I want the static text and with the white color, I will type in here uh, plus uh, three, for example, like so. Okay, and I will convert this to the symbol. So modify, convert to symbol. I can leave this to be symbol one, it's fine. This is named for the library. And in here, I will type the instance name to be button no, plus three, like so. Okay, I will go back to my code. You can just click F9 or uh, right click and choose actions. And I will have to position this like so. So uh, basically, uh, we have this uh, function, this button plus, we have this button minus, and I can one more time copy this and paste it in here. And uh, right now, I will change this to this button plus three, because this is the element that we want to target. And I can call the function to be plus three F. So it will have to be also in here. So plus three F and in here, uh, right now I want my score uh, to be plus equal three. Okay, or you can type that score is equal to score plus three. But I prefer to write it this way. So plus equal three means that it will, every time that we click, increase the score by three. Okay, I will hit control enter. And if I click on this one, okay, I have some kind of mistake. So let me check. Okay, I, <laughs> I was doing this in the wrong place. So let me go back. So in here, <laughs> this should be minus minus, um, uh, sorry. And uh, in here, in button plus three, I was on the, as I said, wrong place. So is plus equal to three. Okay, so control enter and it will increase by three. And this is still working and this is also still working. Okay, so right now, uh, we can create uh, some kind of uh, result function. Uh, but for that, let me, let me create a few text. One is going to be winner and one is going to be loser. So I will create a uh, text. I will go to my layer one. Uh, I want to, I want to have the static text and with maybe green color, I will type uh, winner, uh, like so, and I will scale this a little bit. Okay, and uh, then I will get text tool one more time, and right now with the red color, I will type loser, like so, and I will scale this one more time. I'm scaling with a uh, pre transform tool, the shortcut is Q, uh, like uh, so. We can put them over each other. It doesn't matter, but I will put it like so. And I will click on this one. This is going to be uh, symbol two. That's fine. 
This is going to be simple three. That's fine because we want to create these instance names. Uh, this is going to be winner. And this is going to be loser. And if I misspell anything like the, the English, um, I'm sorry. So like this. And right now, if I hit control enter, uh, the winner and loser is going to be visible. So at the beginning, we want to hide both of them. So very simply, I will go at the beginning and I will type this, this winner, this winner uh, visible is going to be false. And I will do the same thing for the loser. So this loser visible is going to be false and they have disappeared. All right, fine. So I will go back to my code. And uh, in here I can create the function result. So function uh, result parentheses, curvy parentheses. And in here I can type if else statement. So I can type, for example, if score is bigger than 15, I would like to have my uh, root because we are in the function winner visible to be to be true okay and uh, else if like so again parenthesis and right now I will type else if score is uh, smaller than minus 15. Uh, in this case, I would like to uh, make my root loser visible to be false. All right, fine. And uh, right now we have this function. And in this function, one more time, we have if score is bigger than 15. In this case, we will show this uh, root winner visible to be true or whatever you want to show and else if so in uh, other condition if score is smaller than minus 15 we want to show root loser visible to be to be not false but to be to be true okay and now what we need to do is call this function result you can call the function by typing uh, the function name and the parentheses and we want to call this from all of the all of the functions so we want to call this from minus f so i will put it in here we want to call it from the plus 3f like so and we, we also want to call this uh, from here okay so like this and i will hit control enter and i will go with this uh, green one so 3 6 9 12 15 nothing has happened and i will click one more time and it will because we have uh declared that uh that score have to be bigger than 15 which means 16. we can go uh bigger than uh 14 for example and in this case this would this would uh appear at the 15. okay and i will try whether this is working for uh this one it is and the minus very quickly and it is okay so uh, you can play with these uh, if else statements because right now for example i let me show you if i uh, win my winner is going to appear and if i uh, lose uh, <laughs> very quickly uh, my loser is also going to appear and winner is not going to disappear but this is something that you can very very simply uh, put to your code to in the condition uh, hide the one of them or show one of them and so on uh, so yeah uh, this is basically it so thank you very much for watching uh, if you enjoyed this uh, video hit the like if you have some qu questions you can uh, put them in the comment and if you are interested in more videos like this uh, go ahead and subscribe and hopefully I will see you in some other tutorial.